Hey guys, most of you may or may not know that there is actually a way you can break the rake. There are some other ways as well, but this is the most easiest and well, anyone can just do it. If you're just beginning to play the rake or whatever, you can actually break the rake, make him glitch out and survive the entire night without any problem. Now there is a little chance you can actually die by doing this, but it's very little and when there's a lots of people and they go and mess with the rake, he sometimes gets out of the glitch and starts attacking everyone. But this is especially useful if you're alone and it's way more dangerous if you're alone because, you know, it's, it's a higher chance it will track you instead of other players. So, yeah, if you're alone, this is especially helpful. And let's get started. Alright, so it's night time and the rake is coming out. It's time to get him to come to the glitch. You need to actually go to the tower. That is where the glitch takes place. So let me find the rake. Ah, there he is. Okay, he's going way too far. I don't see him anymore. Ah, there he is. Okay, we're close, we're close. Just watch this. Stand right here. Right there. We should glitch the rake. And he'll try to get you, and nothing will happen. Just stay there, do not move. And yeah, that's how you survive the night easily. It's that easy. He'll keep trying, he'll keep trying. Like I said, there is a small chance this might not work. I very small chance, but most of the time it should work, and yeah, it will get you through the night. The thing is that when there's there's people, some people go up and they unglist the rake, and then he starts attacking you and stuff. But if you're alone, this will most definitely work for you, and you'll survive the night without doing anything. You want to get some survivals? Just AFK here, and you'll get some free survivals. It's that easy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found this useful. Bye.